let's get at them, bro. In last week's episode, we were surfing around Margaret River. Oh, and while we remember... All right, what is your home remedy for keeping flies off? Comment below. Is it a hat with corks in it? Is it a hat with lures? Is it a pinwheel? I don't know. Let us know because they're driving me nuts. Maybe a shower? Shower? <laughs> Due to the wind being onshore, this week we mix things up a little bit and have a random day of adventures. We stayed in Gracetown last night, which is approximately 269 giggity kilometers south of Perth. But before we could start our day of exploring, Bianca had a few classy chores to check off the list. Ew. Hey Bianca, look at the camera and say, glamorous. So glamorous. <laughs> Once that bit of fun was out of the way, it was time to get on the road to our first stop of the day, Margaret River. We spent the morning doing a slightly varied version of the Cape to Cape walk and I attempted a little bit of fishing prior to entering the Kilkarna Sanctuary Zone. Having a real shit day, guys. Just kidding. Flat out, you know. Pretty bloody beautiful. And as no surprise, the fish did not bite, so instead, we decided to have a bite. A little bit of wildlife spotting, then it was on to the next destination. The Injup Natural Spa. It wasn't quite as picturesque as we'd seen in the photos and videos, but we had it all to ourselves and we had a lot of fun. Uh, seems like a lovely place for a swim. Western Australia, where even taking a spa can kill you. Care for a nice relaxing spa? That you may die. We may die. Or we may be really relaxed. <laughs> You're so graceful. <laughs> for a big one now. It's coming. <laughs> Why, why, sir? 
feel it. Are you not relaxed? I am so relaxed. I get the feeling you're about to get drilled. <laughs> uh -oh. Third stop of the day was the Nilji Cave, an underground cave showcasing stalagmites, stalactites, and helictites. Located near Yelling Up, adults' tickets are $22.50 and children's tickets are $11.50. Semi guided tours depart every half hour from 9 30 am to 4 pm daily. Nilji Cave is named after one of the Ward Andy Aboriginal people's dreamtime spirits. Nilji was a good spirit who lived in the ocean, while Wuljean was a bad spirit who once lived in the cave. Food was plenty and the Aboriginal people used to collect their water from the entrance to the cave. Then, an evil spirit called Wuljean began lurking in the cave. Wuljean caused the water hole to dry up and food to become scarce. Nilji, who always watched over the tribes in the area, saw the suffering of his people and decided to do something about Wuljean. He spoke with other good spirits of the ocean, so the spirits of the waves, the wind, the rain, thunder and lightning joined together and made the most terrifying storm. The ocean formed itself into huge waves and the wind pushed them up into the entrance of the cave. A fierce battle followed. Wuljean was driven further and further into the cave with the sea following him. Finally driven to the end of the cave, he knew he was beaten and begged for mercy and ran away as fast as he could, never to be seen again. With Wuljean gone forever, the food once again became plentiful and Nilji claimed the cave as his home. From that day on, it became known as Nilji's Cave House. We acknowledge the Ward Andy people of the region as the traditional custodians of this land. We pay respect to their elders, past and present. After spending over an hour underground, it was time for a little fresh air. We took a stroll around the surrounding bushland, found a local Australian mate, but unfortunately he hopped off pretty quick. But moments later... Nope, it's a monkey. It's a baboon. <laughs> Look at that giant red butt. With our lungs refreshed, it was time to give our liver a workout. After all, we were in one of the best winery regions in the world. It'd be rude not to. As we'd covered a lot of ground and were feeling a little warm from the glasses of wine, it was time to find a spot to rest our heads for the evening. Bye. Not really leaving me here, <laughs> Nick. All my excellent conversation. It's gonna park up just down the road here. Just you wait and see. There he is. I told ya. Did I you? think we have found tonight's campsite. Did you miss me too much to drive off? No, I just stopped to camp at this awesome spot. For the view, right? It was time to finish the day by watching the sun go down. Alright guys, that's all for this week. Make sure you tune in next week when I bring on a very 
special friend of mine. <laughs>